What's happening YouTube and welcome my name is Elise GT and today we're taking a look at Minecraft 1.3.1 Now, here you can see on the sort of launcher page when you open up Minecraft if you have a nice legit version it will tell you all the things that have been added in 1.3.1 So now the big thing that they've added uh, like the thing they've added at the top of the list is this whole new single player LAN service so you can uh, run a server just automatically while you're playing single player it just creates one within your laptop and then you can publish it to have a LAN party so if you've got a load of people playing in the same house you can play together without having to go online uh, which is pretty cool actually um, and you can detect it in the multiplayer login screen now you've got a uh, uh, the ability to use text in the game now, so you can just press T and bring up the text menu. I'll show you this when we actually log in and start playing. Uh, bonus chest option to give players a quicker start, we'll have a look at that as well. And we've got adventure mode, which is work in progress. Trading with villagers, new a new block and ore, which is cool. Emeralds, I don't know if that, they're actually useful for anything yet. We'll have a look at that as well. Uh, then we've got cocoa beans in jungles. Ender chest, which is another thing that we'll have to look at. Trip wires, uh, and then there's new inventory and creative mode. If you've been looking at any of the uh, preview, like the pre-releases, uh, you'll have seen most of these things. But we'll have a look at them now that they're actually uh, out and available. Uh, you can uh, get in, uh, get. A, uh, sorry, that sentence completely out of my mouth. <laughs> you can get experience from um, mining ores, so that's pretty cool. Uh, enchantment orbs. I guess that's what they're calling experience. I don't know. I've I, I'm sort of going into this kind of blind because I've not played Minecraft for a while. Um, simply because the stuff you've been watching that's been uploaded onto the channel is all pre-recorded. So uh, that was from a while back. Uh, writable books. That's cool. Large biome world type. So temples to jungles and deserts. Um. And then the rest of this stuff seems to be all very nice. We'll have a look at it. Let's play around. Uh, so we'll log in. Minecraft's already updated. Lovely Mojang logo. So the first thing we'll look at is in multiplayer, you've got uh, searching for land worlds or scanning for land worlds. Now, obviously, there aren't any on here because uh, I'm the only person in this house that plays Minecraft. <laughs> uh, but if we go into single player, we'll go into create new world. We've got game modes still the same there. We've got more world options. Uh, allow cheats is off. Um, hang on, if we go back to survival. So we can turn cheats on. That's cool. So if we put that on. Uh, bonus chest, we'll have a look at that as well. Generate structures on. And the seed we'll use is... 1.3.1. See how that does. Uh, world type, so you can go super flat, large biomes, or default. We'll try out large biomes as well. So if we click done, survival mode, and we'll call this 1.3.1. And create that. I'm looking at creating a new, uh, just standard Minecraft Let's Play, just because I'm quite excited by the new update. Uh, and also, I kinda, I'd kind of like to get back into it, you know, have a nice full-length series rather than just a couple of episodes, which is what my survivals have been like so far. <sighs> right, let's let that... Right. It seems that 1.3.1 is a survival island seed. Wow. Um, fair enough. Got a chest here, so I guess this is what the uh, bonus chest is. And with it, you get... I wonder if that's random. So I've been given some wood, a couple of picks, and a stone axe. That's pretty cool. And then obviously you've got four torches and a chest. Now, I've also... got cheats. So let's try some of these. Let's see if that works help see what commands we can use game mode give player items kill and me action I don't know what me action is so let's try uh, slash game mode one so 
So let's have a. <laughs> is this a? I don't know. There are well, there is land ho. I come from a land down under. Warming ground and men under. It's quite a weird spawn. Um, difficult one as well. There are no trees anywhere, so without that bonus chest, I would have no wood. Strange. It's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. There's just water out here. I'm currently going slightly faster than generation. It's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, what we'll do is we'll bring up the, uh, creative mode menu, because obviously we're now in creative mode. I think that's cool that you can, uh, just switch between so that you could, um, quite easily go back into survival if you wanted to just build yourself something to start with. So we've got blocks of. Let's get rid of all this crap. Bye bye, materials. So here we've got emeralds. Uh, block of. Oh no, I've already got that. No, go away. Emerald ore. We've got the different types of stairs now and slabs. So if we bring those out. So we've got that. Put that. No, that was. You're going on there. That there, put that there, put that there, wire, wire, wire. All looks very nice. And let's see if we can find anything else. So get rid of all that. But yeah, um, I hope that means new tools. Um, I'm, I don't know. We'll have a look at that last. But let's see if there's anything. We've got the Ender Chest. Now Ender Chests are very cool, uh, mainly because what you can do. If we put one there. Put one up there as well. Is anything you put in here, you can then access from in here. See that? So whatever you put in an ender chest is then in every ender chest you'll ever build. So you can basically have portable storage. So if you have perhaps one... Oh, crap, didn't mean to destroy that. If you had one in your house, you could then go exploring, lay another one down um, where you're digging. Say you dug up some diamond and you're... you're low on food and you haven't got anything to refill it or something, or you're about to die, you place it down, you put your diamond in it, then you die, for example, and you go back to your house and then BAM! Your diamonds are there, easy to access. I think that's really cool. I think that's a feature that Minecraft has been needing for a while. So if we have another look, um, you can now play snow. I don't know if you've been able to do that in creative mode before. Uh, so that's all plants and decorations. Then you've got this. I've never known how to make a redstone repeater, but let's go for trip wires. And then I don't know if there's if we can build something to trigger with it. I don't really know much about how this works, so bear with me. So if we destroy that, make a little area to build between. So if we go. I am. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, hang on. I just want to fill up that hole with a redstone lamp, apparently. Uh, trip wire, trip wire. Hmm. Maybe if I put another one opposite it. Trip wire hook. Where's wire then? Hmm. Miscellaneous. Book and quill. That's quite cool. Map. Bottle of enchanting. Can't see, uh... Foodstuffs. Okay. This we're, we're learning at the same time here, peoples. Right, I don't see any emerald tools either. That's disappointing. Oh, you can get all the different potions now. That's quite cool. Materials. I mean, do you string on it, perhaps? Oh, there we go. There we go. Then perhaps if we uh, connect some redstone to that. A block of TNT there. Yeah, yeah, look at that. 
And that's all ruined now. Good. Oh, that's a point. I will show you. I'm pretty sure this is the case. That uh, you can't destroy ender chests with TNT. It's a... Uh... Damn it. God damn it. So if we... Uh... I'm pretty sure redstone lamps can actually work as circuit work stuff anyway. So if, this is a real mess. This is but well. So if we put some string down, that's too close. Well done, me. Right, just put that there. Let's try that. Step back. Yeah, look at that. Indestructible. Oh, and now, if we uh, get rid of all this. So, I'm not really sure what that emerald is for yet. Oh, I still want to try that before we go on. Um, but it's there, so I'm presuming they'll add something t to that as well. So Ah, so I can now type this. Hello. Why does it say missing on it? Sign. Cancel. Oh, that's cool. So, hello, everyone, and welcome to Minecraft 1. Oh, no, that's wrong. 3.1. You can write in books. Snow. That's not right. Books now. This, I am sure, will be spammed. By map creators. Lol. And then we sign it. Sign and close. Ole. There we go. And it's now glowing. And I can read it. And if I put it down, pick it back up. It's still there. So I could put that in my beautiful. Indestruct damn it. Indestructible chest. And it will be there for the rest of time. Oh, and here's a a thing. That, no, I don't want golden nuggets. Golden nuggets! With the honey crunch and taste that's yeehaw. What are I going to combat? This is just grabs this. Oh crap, I'm in creative mode. One second. Game mode zero. Now I'm back in survival, and that should have given me experience. Okay, that's weird. Pretty sure that should give me experience. What am I doing wrong? Maybe it's diamonds that do it? I swear experience is meant to be... Right, hang on. Hang on. Slash game mode. One. And then if I give myself... Blocks. Ah. Lapis lazuli. Lazuli. Redstone. Diamond, let's try this. Let's uh, try spamming all that. See how this goes. Boom, boom, boom. La da 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 da. Slash game mode. Zero. Right. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it flies straight to you. Does, is that a thing now? Does the experience always fly straight to you? I guess so. That's pretty cool as well. I guess that means you don't have to go, like, diving into caves to pick up experience that's falling down. Okay, so they must have taken it away from coal, because that was just too much. <laughs> But now when you collect 
rarer resources. Look at all my levels. So many levels. Oh, and I'm guessing. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool indeed. Okay, so now let's see if I can find some other stuff. Game mode. One. Now, ideally, I'd like to find a village so I can show some trading, but that's I don't think that's going to happen. Or a temple or something, but I might cut that. How, how long have we been going so far? 15 minutes. How exciting. This is probably going to be quite a long video. But I might edit it down later. We'll never know. Well, actually, you will. I won't. Not me. Present me. Okay, so... Is that, did it just say chiseled stone? I swear I just read the word chiseled. Was I mistaken? I'm guessing so. So transportation... Oh, you can now... Uh, Where's a dispenser? Uh, dispenser. Some ominous music. Ominous, ominous. What am I on about? Uh, transportation boat and minecart. Now apparently it only works where available. So if I put some rails down as well. And we'll need a uh, lever. And we'll need... That's about it, I think. So if we put a dispenser that faces water. And a dispenser that faces some minecart tracks. We'll put a, dispen a, put, put a minecart in there. And a boat in there. And we'll put a lever down. A little lever down. Shit. <laughs> uh, crap. Right, hang on. I need to right click it. So, bam. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, was I dreaming when I thought that was going to happen? I thought that minecarts placed... Well, dispensers placed them now. When available. You're not close enough. No, nope, that's wrong. Let's try this again. Probably helps if I put the boat in. There we go. Oh, so if it's like the block next to it. Let's try that. We need to stop doing that. Uh, put the mine car back in. Let's uh, put a lever down. There we go. Oh, so it does work. If it is literally the block next to it. Pretty sure I'm in creative mode. Let me fly. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, right. I think I'm going to cut here. And we'll... Join back when I found a temple or uh, anything else of interest for 1.3.1. In fact, we'll make it a second video, otherwise it's going to take forever to upload. So see you then.